I'm starting a new playlist called Forms of Emotional Abuse, like shame, guilt tripping, criticizing, mind games, because part of what the, the part of the problem with this voice to skull, in addition to the physical aspect, is the psychological operation. So the idea that someone is running a psychological operation while they're abusing you, while they're causing you to do, to to act out, while they're encouraging violence, while you're losing everything. And I uh, want to link in the description box someone who did a video about his voice to skull and when he first heard it. And if you read the comments, his replies are interesting because I asked him, how come he didn't think it was his mind? And I know why I didn't think it was my mind. And I would like you guys to read that comment because I'm wondering how come some people confuse the voice to skull with what they're thinking and some people realize that's not my thought. So they keep talking about how this, this didn't work the same way here as it did where they are. And like I told you guys, and I've said this before, in fireproof buildings, and I think I mentioned it, it echoes. So they weren't doing it the same way. And I think I said this in a, years ago in a video, probably in 2021. That's how this didn't work because sound travels different in a fireproof building. For you guys who probably know more about this than I do, you'll know. So what they're saying right now, and I'm going to try to stop doing it, you know, that way while, because it's picking up my answers to them as they're talking in real time. I get 24 seven real time voice to skull V2K voice of God. That's a big deal. So as I'm talking to you and they're talking and sometimes I'm replying to them, it confuses everything. So even, you know, when I'm doing the videos, I told you I'll try to write it down, but sometimes that's hard because what they'll do is as I'm writing or reading, they'll read along to it. So it's about confusion. But in these types of buildings, and I'm wondering whether, you know, I wish someone, not me, because I'm not going to do it, <laughs> would do a, a real study of all the people who said they're targeted, who get voice to skull to find out where most of us live. Not just the area, because I've told you in previous videos, the places where I've read people coming from, California, New York, Colorado, Texas, Florida, uh, Georgia, Philadelphia, well, I should say Pennsylvania, um, Massachusetts, Wisconsin. And I would like someone to look into that because I can just tell you based on comments that I've read, but more so what kind of buildings we live in. Are we people who own? Because I, I, I can't find the video and I might have it on a playlist, but I, I, I've been kind of busy. As you guys know, I'm packing up. Um, I can't find it on a playlist, but someone from um, Louisiana said he has a home there and they did this whole campaign, probably a noise campaign to get them to leave other people. There's also someone who's a major targeted individual in the uh, gang stalking community who is originally from Louisiana. So these are areas where people would want to live. And I'm wondering if it's connected to that. And that means what kind of buildings are we in? Are we more in apartment buildings where it might work better? Fireproof buildings, homes, where there's another person who, again, I try not to tell you guys names. You know, they were upset because I've been using more names to connect things as I'm making connections. See, something in them didn't realize I'm a human being. I don't have a computer program doing this. This is my only computer. And as I'm making connections, like that makes sense. That doesn't make sense. Then they're talking to me 24 seven. If a name is important, it's important. I'll leave the name. If the name isn't, I'll leave the name. I, I won't leave the name. So I'm not going to do it with every story. Cause as you can tell, these, these I'm looking back at the video where they tried to convince me part of the emotional abuse that I did something wrong. You did something wrong. You did something wrong. It goes back to every single story where in my mind, I know I didn't, but I have someone outside of me saying we saw it, meaning we objectively saw it. It's not objective. And I know I'm going off on a tangent. Let me get back to, let me pause this so that I write down. So I stay on topic. I'll be right back. Okay. So 
subjectively, we as human beings, when this is silence from my pen, I'll put it down so I'm not causing any new sounds. Subjectively, we as human beings, we think a certain thing could have happened. But objectively, from the outside, they're seeing things that maybe we didn't. So we would be really, we would be manipulated into trusting them over ourselves. But when you use these um, videos to document, you can then become that same person who can see what happened. And when you start to see it and say, that didn't happen that way, or that's wrong, then you can start to talk about it in that 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 way. The other big thing about this is I was going over types of buildings. So if you're outside, how does it sound? Inside, how does it sound? In a home, because in a home, unless they put something physically in your home and, and somebody who is uh, leaving negative comments wrote a comment that I'm going to leave as a thumbnail that you have to have hardware. And that's part of what I'm saying. We, I don't want people to think this is coming from some place. It has to be, there's only a few, um, there's only a, a, a distance. There must be a distance that it's coming from. So it can't be coming from someplace at such a far distance. There is a limit to the distance because if it comes from a far distance, just like science, the and I, there's a really good video, I hope I can find it, where a guy talks about how to measure um, sound waves. The further the distance, the louder it would have to be for you to hear it. And if it has to be really loud, then other people will hear it too. So if, for example, if the person's right next to you, they can whisper. If the person is, is you know, a distance away, they can talk in a normal voice. If a person's further away, they have to scream. But if the distance is really far away, you won't hear it. Or if they make it loud, everyone will. So, um, that is something else I want to talk about. The other big thing is they messed up with my personality assessment. They keep repeating this. I'm, I'm hoping people who are Jewish and Catholic can talk about this. I don't want to ask anyone what religion you grew up in, but I'm not, I'm neither. So I don't really understand this, but they said those two religious groups are more susceptible to this type of manipulation because of the way you grew up. So when we're talking about this and talking about forms of emotional abuse, and why that starts to make sense is because if you grew up in a certain type of religious um, a religion and that makes you susceptible to love, God, and they use psychological um, techniques that involve using love, religion, and I've said this repeatedly, religion, then if you're more susceptible to this, then I would think you would... They, someone with, they're talking again, it's getting me confused now because they're talking too loud. Um, it should be going to, into my head, into my head. If it's, if I'm hearing it out loud, it's not in my head. And that's part of this. I don't want, you know what I feel? I feel like as this is coming out and more people with far more life experience skills, people who were in, um, in, um, uh, what you would call it? What's that when you're in intelligence? Those type of fields are talking about it. They know more about this than I ever could. I'm learning from them. I'm learning from people who have been victims a long time. As they're talking about it and explaining it, it's getting into something that I'm wondering about. Are they also more susceptible to this than I would be? Meaning if you're in an intelligence organization where you it's involving spying, secrets, you know, they just said something again. Are you going to be more susceptible to it? Because maybe you do have that in you. So is it time now for the rest of the world to understand that human beings should not be subjected to this at all? But if you have a job that requires you to deal with this and know it, and then something happens, I don't know what, and you're not supposed to talk about it, or maybe you're being targeted for whatever reason, are you more susceptible? So I want to talk about that. So forms of emotional abuse, what types of buildings and, and living places are people in? What areas are you in? Are you in areas where people want your apartments, your homes, your land? Um, subjective versus objective. Who 
do you trust? Do you trust an outside source of what happens or do you trust yourself? Going back to intelligence. And the last thing, I don't remember because as they're talking to me. So again, the personality assessment they had that was wrong was that I would be someone who would later apologize if I didn't do anything wrong. Why would I apologize? And I think what we're doing for everyone who's targeted is we're making sure that people understand you shouldn't be subjected to emotional abuse. It's wrong. It's illegal. It's a crime. We we don't emotionally torture anyone and think it's okay. So that's probably why it had to be secret and it had to be done mainly in your home where no one would be witness to it. But mine was done outside, so that changes that. And it would have to seem like it's an objective being like God, voice of God technology, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll do more videos soon.